take that, you know what I'm saying, and then go over my boundaries and doing what I wanted to do, that was like the most transparent things. Everything from being with the girls that I was with, I was with, um, breaking hearts, my heart being broken, mm. um, just understanding what's important. I mean, I spoke on that, but like what's really important in life, and yeah. I think that uh, it really boils down to like, man, you said you wanted a story. I don't know what story to tell. I went through depression. I was 24, mm -hmm. someone in my family died. Um, I didn't know how to deal with it. I yeah. went deeper into my own loneliness. And that's why you know, I speak heavily on you know, people believing in their value and not thinking that what they feel, that loneliness that they feel is all they have. Because mm -hmm. there's people who actually love you. Um, mm -hmm. But first you have to understand, you have to understand that in order for me to overcome that, that place I was, yeah. I had to understand my value, I had to understand that good. I love myself. Yes. That's good. Um, you know, a lot of people in the society is looking for band-aids, you know, but they don't yes. know how to heal themselves before they put the, you know. Hold on, tweet it. <laughs> tweet it. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I mean, I had to learn to be the band-aid for myself before I can go into the world and ask for them to heal me and the society to heal me. Okay, so we're about to um, get to something a little bit different. Let's do it. But first, I want to ask you, where does your hope come from? Because I know that you're a man of God. Amen. So what's your hope, Lyanna? Why are you hungry for this whole Jesus thing? Oh man, why am I hungry for it? Because that's the, that's the key to loving yourself. Mm. I feel like, you know, you can never really love yourself. And I feel like the pinnacle of loving yourself is really understanding the love that you're seeking out of God. That's true. Um, the more you seek from God, the more you can love yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more you can give that whole love to someone else. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, that's why I've submerged myself to God because I got tired of going to girls and thinking, okay, they can actually give me this healing. Come on. You know, they can actually fill this void that that uh, no one but God could fill. Yeah. You know, and I and then in the end, I was I was left empty uh, with a little bit of pleasure and a little bit of happiness, but happiness mm -hmm. can never can never amount to the uh, the amount of joy that God brings. Come on, Margaret. I told you this is the point of my life. It's Sunday, okay, but I didn't know you were going to bring the church up here. That was good. <laughs> that is good. No, seriously, though, because God brings another type of love that humans just aren't even capable of feeling. That's the reality. We're not capable of feeling that. So if you go into a marriage thinking that I'm going to be fulfilled with this person, that's wrong. Yeah. Because only God can be that yeah, person. Sure. 
All right, Marcus, so I'm gonna ask you about relationships. Let's talk. You know. This is, this is what I talk about on the other day. I feel like she over here talking about this. I ain't gonna do it. We got a lot of ladies watching, you know. Uh -huh. Fellas too now, fellas too. You know, to take from the bro. What would you say is the largest thing that you look for in a woman? What's the thing on the top of your list? You were just thinking about this? Oh, boy, just that. What's the top of your list? The top of my list is, um, I mean, I feel like like being close with God is kind of like a no-brainer. You know what I'm saying? Having a relationship. I'm not saying that you got to be like, oh my gosh, holy and art thou. I mean, because we are all, like, at the end of the day, we're all sinners mm -hmm. who were just saved by grace. Yeah, that's true. That's it. You know what I mean? So I don't look at myself better than anybody else as long as you're soaring towards someone greater than you could ever amount to. Um, so yeah, first is definitely knowing who God is. Okay, we got number one. Okay. Let's uh, get, let's do five. Five? Yeah. Cool, I can do five. Um, strong will, leadership. You know, I look for leadership out of mm, um, That's big. You know, wow. Like, hold your own down. Yeah. You know, say, for instance, you know, my father always told me, like, you know, your mother was always independent. And I knew that if I left this earth, she could hold it down for me. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. I need to meet your dad. Yeah. Um, a supporter. I want a number one fan. Oh. First of all, this is not a dating show, right? I feel yeah. like we're about to hook Marcus up, but this yeah, is not yeah, what this is about, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah it's not. She, she asked me for my five, so, so after support, I want a partner. I want her to know that I'm there for her and she's there for me. So even when she's down, I gotta, I gotta find a way to get back up. Yeah. You know, because we both can't be at this low place, and that's the point of that's, having a complimented that's partnership. That's very true. I think beauty also comes with it, right? That's, That's what I was gonna ask you because beauty like, hasn't been, you know, mentioned yet. So we're talking about like, like physical. I didn't, this is your list, Marcus. I was right. gonna, I was right, wondering. So this is like mumbo jumbo, but the first thing I'm gonna see is your beauty. Like I'm gonna keep it straight. So up is that? Too. So yeah, let's put that up there. Is beauty God. number one or? I, the first thing I see is what I see, and that's what I'm attracted to. Yeah. So you can be a firm believer and all that, and have all those other things, but if I'm not attracted to you, it's going to be like some limits to that. It's because very true. You're right. I, I want to wake up next to you. It's you true know? for the rest of your life. For the rest of my life. No prenup. No <laughs> prenup. First of all, I also want to give a shout out yeah. to Sierra and Russell because they did yeah. not do a prenup. A word? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Isn't that dope? I didn't even know what you said. So that's, this is your woman. That's, that's, that's my one. You said one, like I got five. No, like, no, I'm a woman, woman, you know, one man, woman. I mean, one woman, man. That's right. Stuttering over there. Is he, you're sure? No, I'm just She's like, out there. That's why I'm, I'm stuttering. Like, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously, I'm not even like dating like that right now. Why really aren't you dating? Let's ask that. I've really just been like trying to like find myself out, like just feel myself, love myself a little bit more. I've been in the dating arena. Well, I was in a relationship couple months ago got out of that had to find out that like I was really the retarded one mm. because I didn't love myself enough Wow yeah and I'm being as real as I can right now for real because wow. we we as, as guys we have a way of disclosing certain information and leaving a lot out mm. but um yeah I didn't I didn't love myself enough to be in a relationship and, and I wanted to wow. love myself wholly so I can give her all of me and not half and I'm tired of that Cause it's not happy. It's not joy. Like I, I want joy. I want her to look at me and be like, "Yo, like he got my back." Mm. And like, no matter what, like he gonna be loyal. He's not gonna look for anybody else because I know that he loved me all, all his heart. And that's the key to like loyalty in a, in a woman as well. Mm -hmm. It's 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 really through a man's behavior, you know, that a woman actually like says, "Okay, I got your back too." So you're working on you right now. I'm working on me. Taking a break from dating. I haven't been dating. Until what? Okay, I'm not even gonna put that in there. Uh, all, it's the Lord's timing. It's all His timing. And really, I think we put so much weight on relationships, honestly, and purpose and following what God has for us weighs so much higher. Like that's just a piece of the story. And just because you know, if you hold it now, it could seem like it's so huge because sex and all this stuff. But really, it's just a little small bit, and you'll miss your purpose trying to find the one. I mean, look, I thought sex was the key to relationships. Right? Let's get real. I mean, I thought it was. Yeah. Um, but it left me more empty than I was before oh, I got come into this. Oh, on, Marcus. Yeah, so, yeah. That's so real. She wouldn't applaud. No, I, I don't want no applause, y'all. I was just playing. Like, <laughs> I'm becoming oh the person I want to become. But I think that as a man, we should just embrace where we are. 
and understand that God really um, is really molding us to uh, be with the person that he sees fit for us and to really uh, be the partner that we, we needed in our lives. Wait for your divine design creation. God created a special woman for you. And um, I've missed a couple great ones, but I know that the great ones actually prepared me for the greatest. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about that, guys. <laughs> That's all I got. I mean, I'm Marcus Bracey, find me on Instagram. Chat, chat. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Y'all see it right here. Marcus Bracey, you can follow him, connect with him. <laughs> That, that was so awesome. Okay, y'all. So that includes our very first installment of Guy Brain. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. This is a phenomenal thing you got going on. I love this part. Love. Hey y'all, I'm so excited because I just finished editing that video, but I just launched a Patreon account and I would so love your support. If you are able to make a contribution of over $25 a month to help me create these videos more often and help reach youth and teens, please head over to patreon.com backslash love J. I literally, literally cannot do this without you and would absolutely love your support this is if you're an adult if you're a, a teenager if you're a parent and you know that this content needs to be heard more would you help me do it head over to patreon.com backslash love keila j hey i'll also see you on instagram facebook and periscope and twitter throughout the week bye y'all love you